in today's tutorial I'll show you how to play music tracks depending on game states using the WISE Unreal integration. The first thing is to move inside your WISE project and under Interactive Music Hierarchy, select Default Work Unit and press this little icon Music Switch Container. We can call it a very simple name, something Music Switch. Then, with your music switch selected, you need to create a new music playlist and we are going to call it Playlist 01. Then, with your playlist selected, a music segment, segment 01, and finally, your uh, music track. This red color indicates that the track is empty, so we can right click, import audio file, add file, navigate to the folder where you have your audio files, and import. From this point, repeat this same process for all the audio tracks you want to play in your game. So once again, I select my music switch and I add a new playlist, this time playlist 02. With my playlist selected, a new segment, segment 02, and finally my new track. The shortcut to import an audio file is Shift I. Then add file music 02.wave open. Great, now from this point, you need to move inside layout and change the layout to interactive music. You can select your first track and down here you see this music segment editor where you can adjust the in and out position. This yellow cursor indicates the actual playback position while the green one, the start position, and the red one, the out position. So you can select snap to bars or beats or cue or clips and it will snap to that specific point. So I'm going to drag my red cursor to the end of my audio file and this triangle here, I'm going to move it uh, over the audio track so that it will uh, set the end position of my timeline to the end of my audio file. Now repeat this process for all your tracks. So track two, you can zoom out using these buttons here. And for track three, same process as well. So let me uh, see which is the last point of my audio file and then I trim my timeline. Great! Now it's time to select your playlist so I'm going to start from my first one then I take my segment and I drag and drop it down here inside the music playlist editor. Maintain the sequence continues uh, as under group segments and under loop counts, the first one should be set to infinite. And now we just need to repeat this process for the remaining two playlists. So playlist two, segments two, here with loop count uh, to infinite. Playlist three, segment three, drag and drop it, loop count oops, infinite. Sweet. Now, in order to um, play the actual uh, music system, we need to generate a play event. And we want to associate that play event with the music switch. So 
we right click new event oops play and we can call it leave it as it is play music switch the next step is to add states so you can do it in different ways in a couple of different ways the first one is to right click your music switch new event state and you need to you can enable a state or with your music switch selected you can move under the states tab and here you can add states or last thing you can move under the game sync tab inside the project explorer you can select your default work unit under states and new child state group so what i like to do uh, most is to start from music switch and use the states uh, tab here we need to add first a state group so add state new and i'm going to call it state group with your new state group selected right click new state and we can call the first state 01 same process for the other two so new state state 02 and finally state 03 now that we created all states we can move down below here we have our music switch music switch container association editor so from this point we need to select this icon select state groups state group or the name you uh, gave to your state group here we have state one two and three plus a none which is a sort of default state that is associated when no other one is called what we need to do is to link the state to the correspective playlist so i'm going to select my state 01 with my playlist 01 and i'm going to drag my playlist over the state and down here you see path under path state 01 associated to which object the playlist 01 we repeat this process for all other states so state 2 playlist 2 drag over state 3 playlist 3 here we have it from this point we can save and move in unreal inside unreal we can move inside the character blueprint under viewport we need to generate an ak component so add component ak the ak event linked to the ak component should be our play music switch then we move inside the event graph we can add an event begin play let me zoom in we'll link it to a set state out from the set state we post an ak event connected to our ak component and for the ak event we drag out from the ak and we get ak event ak audio event within set state under state value we can scroll and select the state we want to play uh, when the game starts at first so let's select state one we can compile save inside the wapi picker we generate some data generate and now we can have a listen now let's try to change state depending on game conditions so let's say that if we are on top here and we overlap a trigger box we can set a different music state 
With our trigger box selected, we click over Blueprint Add Script. We rename it uh, something like Trigger Box Music State Blueprint. New subclass Select. Inside its event graph, we can drag out from the event actor begin overlap and cast to third person character. Where is it? We link the other actor to the object and we send the execution pin to a set state. Out from the state value, we can promote a variable. Well, where is it? That we can call something like music states. Very simple, very straightforward. Then we set this variable to be public. We compile, save, and if we move inside the main page of Unreal with our trigger box selected, under default we have state value and we can change this value to let's say state2. Now we can generate some data and play the game. Hopefully this video was helpful for you, if so, I invite you to give a like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.